Hey, joining us here now is Lynn Allison. She is with the uh, developer of the uh, Harbor Bridge Project, Flatiron Dragados. Uh, they're working with TxDOT, of course, in that massive <laughs> undertaking in building a new Harbor Bridge. And uh, Lynn, I know commuters can see uh, a lot of the work being done. They see the two sides of the bridge about to connect there over the channel. There's a lot of work, though, that people just don't see every day. Tell us about some of that. Certainly, a lot of our drainage uh, packages in the project get kind of taken for granted because they're not as glamorous as these structures that we're building. Um, we've just come up on nearly finishing um, the salt flat channel, which is a huge part of the drainage package, uh, quadrupling the capacity of that channel, um, fortified with 25,000 tons of, of rock and riprap and retaining walls and um, big box culverts. Uh, the real beauty of that salt flat channel is it, it really pumps and channels water from the really low lying areas at Leopard Street and Crosstown Expressway on towards the ship channel and really just stood the test of coming through uh, Tropical Storm Alberto with over five inches of rain and not having to have any roadway closures due to flooding while keeping traffic moving throughout the storm. Well, that's what I was going to ask you because I know typically as you guys have done construction, that area down there, and again, it's, it's, it's that waterway that runs toward the ship channel in the, the, the kind of the, the ramp there. Uh, it has flooded, but you're saying that during last week's heavy rain, you did okay. Certainly, we're really proud of the fact that that's open, um, ongoing with some more excavation, but but really doing the job that it's it's meant to do. Um, also, it's just a really nice area that kind of runs, like I said, towards the ship channel. There's certain areas, if you go over to the Lake Street Bridge where pedestrians can cross, um, lots of fun to watch the shorebirds in the area. There's tidal pools for fish to spawn mm -hmm. uh, with an ebb and flow and, and constant pools, even in drought conditions. All right, still lots to be done there, but apparently lots has already happened. So we're gonna continue to keep an eye on that. Thank you, Lynn, appreciate yeah. that. Back to you.